Siri. What is Lamington Road famous for? Lamington Road is famous for its wholesale and retail market in electronics goods. Shops on the street sell computer goods, electronic items, television equipment, and wireless equipment at rates much lower than the maximum retail prices they have a high turnover. They sell not only the latest computer-related items but even outdated electronic parts for radios like transistors, capacitors, cables, sound cards, TV tuners and adapters. <laughs> So the features of this tablet are that you can uh, take photos and it is fine on pixel camera and it can take it can have very good audio quality and you can browse through the internet very nicely if you have Android. With Linux there are a few issues with internet because you can't uh, watch videos at high resolution but with Android you can do everything great and a few games run well as well. So it does not have a gyroscope, so that is a problem with some games like Asphalt Line 9 and other games seem to work pretty great. So it has one GB, it has one GB RAM, or you can take a 4 GB RAM Raspberry Pi to make it even faster. But the 4 GB RAM Raspberry Pi does not have so much of support. So we need a lower version like a 3B to run Android and more compatible operating systems and um, we can switch operating systems and the power bank which I have used actually has USB-C and lightning and can charge other devices as well so yeah that's it so let's get into the assembly So guys, we are into the assembly and now we're gonna put everything into place and assemble our tablet computer. So let's begin with the display, I'll just open it up. So that's an HDMI cable, so the ribbon one. So I'm gonna attach everything together, the ribbon cable and the micro USB cable. And after that's done, we'll connect it with the Raspberry Pi. And I have connected the speaker and the amplifier circuit to the Raspberry Pi power post, so you can do that yourself. You can watch some other videos of mine which show how to make a speaker. So you can do that same version without the Bluetooth module. And it is connected to the audio port instead of the Bluetooth module over here. And I then place the power bank in and I cut holes for the LED indicator but that hole was covered later on because that was rendered useless so just watch that and then I'll tell you what happened ahead so at this point I started cutting holes for charging from the power bank and to charge the power bank so it can charge with USB-C and lightning as I said and I had made this flip for it, but that didn't seem to work that well, so I later on removed that. So you'll see that in the end product too. So I placed the Raspberry Pi in, and I cut holes for the SD card slot, and I even cut holes for uh, the speakers later on. 
and I decided to cut off the USB ports because that was not possible and I had to break the cardboard so I decided to skip that part and lose some USB ports which wasn't so which wasn't a so bad decision after all. So I randomly put some holes into the back but they look pretty well as you can see in the next few frames after this. So as you can see they look pretty well, not too bad. Um, the speaker quality is very great on this one and it depends which speakers you get and the flat ones are preferred by me at least because if it's a bigger one the magnetism is also strong and that might create a problem and it takes a lot of space as well. So I fit the power bank onto this and the raspberry pi onto that, onto, onto the speakers and later on I put some foam under the raspberry pi for support as well. And now I'm just gonna show you everything which I did and I might tell you everything as well. So I cut hole for the camera and it was pretty well made and the 5 megapixel camera takes very great photos as you will see later into the video. So yeah, so just keep watching. So here I assembled the display on it, I removed the screen protector and I placed everything and I glued it and the display was put in great and it stays pretty good, great and I put some foam to give support later on and I coated it with carbon fiber as you will see later on. So guys, this has been a great success to make this project, so enjoy this installation, the first boot with the new version of Interior OS and it's recorded the next day it was launched but it had a few bugs so it can't connect to Wi-Fi so I need to wait for the new version to come out and that's it, you can enjoy the rest of the video and thanks for watching can make one yourself and enjoy the rest of it. That's me signing out.